Hello everybody. This is a quick tutorial on the Simon backpack. You'll notice we got them in blue, fisherman green, and chartreuse. What you've got here is a wobbler stabilizer first, a scent chamber second. And some of you guys are going to say, well, what do you mean a wobbler stabilizer? Well, we're going to get into that here in a minute. You're going to see it on the videos uh, exactly what happens. But uh, let me first show you how to put this thing on, and then we'll go from there. So what you've got here is a plastic piece that goes on the back of your Simons, thus the name backpack. And I'm going to show you how this thing goes on. We'll start with the standard blade. Okay. I don't know how many times I've done this and done it upside down, so I'm just going to tell you now. <laughs> make sure this Simon stamp is up. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. So what you're going to want to do is put the split ring, or I'm sorry, the uh, swivel and the welded ring through the hole. Slide it to one side. Notice how we did that. Put slight pressure on your thumb and slide it back. See how that happened? Then secure it in place. You'll notice there's two little channels down these wings. Make sure your blade is up tight and snugged on there like that. Okay. There's what it looks like from the back. There's what it looks like from the front. The whole point of this is if and when a fish hits this thing and hits it, it's going to send it up the line and you're not going to lose your backpack. Now understand these are plastic and there are fish that will break them. Those are good problems to have. Like I said, you shouldn't be forcing this thing on. There's two little pressure points. There's one right there and one right here. Those are there for a reason. Some guys have been nipping them off. Uh, it causes some problems. Just make sure you leave those pressure points alone. And again, one more time. See there, I almost put it on upside down. Blades up. Barrel swivel through. Welded ring through. Okay, slide it to one side. Slight pressure. Slide it back over. And you'll notice how it's seated there real nice on that side and that side. You don't want this. Okay, that's not on. Okay, make sure it's seated in there really nice like that. Okay, I'm going to show you on the hammered ones. These are a little more difficult because, again, that little channel right there on those edges, the blade's got to slide into those. So, blade's facing up, barrels swivels through, welded rings through, tip slides across, a little pressure here on your thumb, and you'll see it snaps right over the top, just like that. The sides are in, it's snapped in place, the hoop's going to keep it in place as well, so when it's swimming it can slide up but it can't come off. And that's what it looks like from the back. So for you guys that really uh, are on the UV, uh, UV wavelengths and that for fish, uh, I am as well a very strong believer in that. We were able to impregnate UV into the plastics and you'll notice how it just blows up. If you can't see that on camera, get one in real life and hit the blue light on it. It is something else. I said we've done it for the green, or I'm sorry, the chartreuse. We've done it for the green and the blue. The blue doesn't pop quite as much as the other ones, but trust me, it's in there as well as the clear. Enjoy the rest of the video. We'll take you through step by step on how to fish these things and what the difference is with them and without them.